nobody is hurt if um, nobody is hurt if they don't fight by you know either with their words meaning propaganda of any kind um, or physically fight um, obviously we can't tell what people are feeling their hearts but we just bet what's apparent, you know. Um, those people, if if they're not harming the Muslims, then then they won't be hurt, you know. Um, the people, the kufar, the the non-believers that um, wish to stay in their homes even though um, they are under the rule of a Khalifa, they have to pay the jizya. Can you explain? Which is, exactly. so Khalifa is, you know, the Khalif. Um, jizya is, uh, is a tax um, that non-believers have to pay while living in an Islamic state. Um, so you would, you know, and I, I don't you find this. I don't find this as unjust. Mm -hmm. um, for one, because Allah has has commanded it. Um, so how but do you feel about the Islamic state? The what are your feelings about the Islamic state? And then. Allah's law is most high. Is most high. There can be nothing else. But I, and I'm even saying, you know, we no hear in the news, no. right? You know, ISIS this, ISIL that, all these things. Yeah. What is your take on that? What do you feel about, you know, the group that calls themselves ISIS or ISIL? Good thing. Yeah. Yeah, they are. They're doing a good thing. And what part of what they're doing is good? Like, what, what is their? And again, this is education for us too. So, what is their ultimate goal? What are What are they doing? Um, what What's good? They're implementing the Sharia. And they're freeing the people from oppression. Wherever they go, they're changing things. Finally, finally establishing Khilafah. And, like when they, um, I hear what you're saying on those pieces, but when they as a group behead, you know, 20 Christians, let's say, or they attack the Yazidis, uh, the Christian group on the mountain, Okay. Those types of things. Okay. Like First of all, the ISIS claimed responsibility, right? For there's a lot of beheadings. There's uh there's someone right. who names himself Jihadi John and he, he beheads people. Right. Right? He he does it he does it in an online way so that people can see it. Right. And so so what's your feeling about that? That's these people they represent themselves as ISIS, they're ISIS. What's your feeling? The people that you, the people that you see being executed, are criminals. They're criminals. They're the lowest of the low. So children, they women. Don't, they don't kill children and women. Well, that's so lies. Children and women have. That's lies. Okay. That's lies. They will do that if they fight. If they if a woman or a child fights. You know. Um, and really, even and even with the children, that's that's very rare. That's a very rare occurrence. Um, 
but it does happen. Is it an atrocity when it happens, or no. is it part of the good of no. them moving forward? No, it's not an atrocity. Nobody, nobody, they don't execute innocent people, you know? What did the group of Yazidi Christians that were chased up the mountain, and a lot of them were killed by ISIS, what, what crime did they commit? No, I don't know about that particular story, but... I will say that the way they've dealt with the Yazidis has been just. Um, they fought. They fought against Islam. But were they fighting with back? With guns. Were they fighting back because ISIS was moving into their territory? Were they trying to, to fight back and protect themselves? Like the example you brought up to me earlier, if someone entered my house, were they... Are they you trying see, to defend? You see, the... The moment that a group of people begins implementing something other than the Sharia, they're, they're enemies. And so be the United States, we don't have the Sharia law here right. in the United States. Right. Is is that what makes... So in your mind, then, is all of the United States an enemy? Yes. And every person... Yes, it's unjust. States. It's unjust and it's... How can, how can a mere man-made law be better than divine law? It's not even possible. Do you mean it's unjust? to live without the Sharia law. It's unjust. And you know, if if the if the Yazidis did not fight, their life would have been so much better. And you know, and the people the people that that welcome the Islamic State, they're living so well. You don't hear about that in the news. You don't hear about that. But they are. Um, now the Islamic State they comes in, they come in with guns, they don't come in peacefully. They come in with guns and they come it, in with knives and they, they take people's heads off and they, they kill people. That's, they that's, kill enemies, they kill oppressors. Well, those don't are understand. people, see, so they're, they're people. Yeah, you're describing them as enemies and oppressors um, yes. because they disagree with, um, they might disagree with Islam, right? But you're saying that they don't welcome. And what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, that they will only kill people that fight them.